Good evening guys, Tony back again, Horin Todge, hope you're well. Friday evening here in the UK, and I've had a few packages in this week. Um, some bits of Bob's Blu-rays, a few slip covers I was after. A few t-shirts and stuff, so I thought, I'll get a quick video out and show you guys what I picked up. Um, first one I'm going to go start with is this cool film from the 70s. Shockwaves. Uh, it's got a Peter Cushion film, really cool. Like I say, it's from the 70s, a zombie film. About this boat, if I remember rightly. And um, I think it gets uh, risen from the sea or something. If it, It's a long time since I've seen it. And um, there's like these Nazi zombies on it. A really cool zombie film. Uh, excuse me, I've still got a cold. But um, yeah, Peter Cushion film. And it's just, it's got the nice artwork i think it's got a 4k release now and it's just the same underneath so really cool to have that that's uh shockwaves my first one from blue underground next one it's the first time i've owned one of these uh from this company raro video and it's called death occurred last night uh directed by is it ducio tesari so obviously it's a Jallo film, crime film. Haven't I haven't heard anything of this before. I don't know if it's a good one, but I, I, you know I'm into my Italian cinema, and I'm watching a lot of it at the minute. And um, yeah, I thought I'll grab that one because you don't hear many people talking about it. And um, let's take a look. So there's the. Uh, so I do like my uh, Euro crime. And Jallo, so you get a nice booklet and stuff with that. So, yeah, if you've seen that, guys, let me know what you think of that because it's the first time I've uh, seen it. Death occurred last night, and then this one's from the same uh, company, and it's called Iguana, a film by um, is it Mount Hellman? So, uh, a few good praises on the front from this. So, uh Iguana is a movie that should have made Mont Helm and a household name, Quentin Tarantino. Uh, it's meant to be really weird, really strange. Haven't seen it before. I've heard pretty good things. So again, if you've seen this one, Iguana, um, let me know your thoughts on it. Uh, I don't know if it's a pretty rare one, I suppose, because I, I don't see it around very often. So I thought, I've got to grab that one. Iguana. Um, the next one is an 88, I've got a few of the Italian collection again, uh, so I picked this one up, I really like this um, zombie film, if you haven't seen it, it's from the 7th, no, it's from 1981, <laughs> Burial Ground, great film if you haven't seen it, um, cool zombie films, let me cover something up on the back, don't want to copyright, so there's the back guys, if you haven't seen this, it's really cool, um, you know, 80s zombie film. I just really, really enjoyed it. So I'm glad to own that one. It's getting quite scarce to find now. And then this is a new one that came out this week. Um, Zeda, beautiful artwork. It's the new ones in the the hard the hard cases, and you get uh, obviously the the Blu-ray the is it a poster and booklet or something like that? But I remember this one being quite a cool ride. Look forward to checking out again. I think Code Red had a Blu-ray out year, years ago. Um, so yeah, you get a 40 page booklet and you know. But yeah, that's a really cool addition I think. Um, the artwork's cool. And... Uh, yeah, like I say, I remember it being a cool zombie film, so uh, I'll be revisiting this one over the weekend. A couple more now from um, the uh, Italian collection, with the slipcover again. So I'm trying to get the slipcovers. That burial ground slipcover is almost impossible to find. I think the last one I saw on eBay went for about 180 quid for the slipcover because it was like limited to 100 or 200 or something stupid. So I've got this one, really nice slip cover. And I'll tell you the film in a minute. Um, as you can see there. And it is 
a muck. Now this is a cool sort of uh, giallo film, I suppose. Don't want to show you that bit because um, it's a bit raunchy, let's say. But a uh, really cool film if you haven't seen this one, like I say. Um, it's like a exploitation, exploitation film. But really nice slip cover again. Um, really cool. You can read that. There we go. So again, and that slip cover is another one that's um, say hard to come by now. You know, they're, they're out of print. So that's that one, a muck. And this one, I watched this one the other night. Really good film. Another beautiful slip cover. Look at the back. Um, El Forte di Giorgio, is it? But we know it as Delirium. So again, another cool sort of uh, giallo type slasher film. This one was really good. It was uh, about this sort of magazine run by this person and there was a killer going round killing people. Got two discs in this one. And they were sending like um, pictures of the uh, anatomy and stuff into this uh, into this magazine. It was really cool. I really enjoyed that. So, yeah, that's Delirium, guys. That's another one of the Italian collection with the slip cover. And then I picked up this one. This was really cheap off Amazon. I think it was like seven pounds. And it's just come in the post tonight. It just looks like a comedy horror. Looks like gory fun. And it's called Cyst. As you can see there. Sorry about the shrink wrap still on, guys. But it looks like really gory fun. If you can read German, you'll be all right on the back if you can't. But just look at the pictures on the back, guys. You've got, like, cysts all over people. And, you know, it's looked a really good time for seven quid. Thought I'd check this out. Like I say, it looks like a comedy horror. I think it is. So yeah, that's Cyst. And I picked up two slip covers that I needed um, for my slashy collection, 88 films. So I think I've got all the slip covers that came out now, bar two. So I picked up Happy Hell Night. Uh, like I say these are quite hard to come by now. It's just a slip cover. I've got the, the Blu ray upstairs. But yeah, just really cool slip cover. That's happy all night. Some of these only came with uh, like when you ordered them from the company years ago. So I don't know if this was some of them. And then the other one was Lou for the Geek. Really nice slip cover again. Um, cover up a bit of nudity. But yeah, I'm glad to own those two slip covers, guys. So. Really cool. Happy Hell Night and Lou for the Geek. So that's two more slip covers. And then I wanted to show you these. So I picked up a few t shirts off a guy off Instagram called Ghoul Cemetery. He's a guy and he, he puts out t shirts and he only puts them out for a couple of days because he like prints them and then they're like limited run. So you have to be pretty quick if you want one. And I saw a few t-shirts and I thought, oh yeah, they're, they're pretty cool. So I got I got um a Hellraiser one, Hellbound. And it's that famous scene where it says Help I'm in Hell. As you can see there, that's that's really cool. Um he also chucked in in my parcel um a tote bag. He said to me, I'll chuck you a tote bag in. Um and it's Queen of the Damned. That's a nice tote bag that you can take out Blu-ray hunting and stuff. So that's really cool. And I got another Hellraiser t-shirt. It's Frank again. This is really cool. As you can see here. It says come to daddy. You get the gist, but really cool print on the t-shirt. And he does amazing t-shirts, this guy, so big up to him. And then he also got this one. So if you remember, Are You Afraid of the Dark? From um, childhood. 
this is really cool i love this t-shirt so it is it says the midnight society so if you remember are you afraid of the dark submitted for the approval of so that's cool t-shirt print on that it's a great t-shirt and you know so i'm really glad with them guys so a bit of a shorter video this week uh so i hope you're well uh get in the comments guys tell me if you've seen any of these films what you think of the pickups and uh, i've been tony guys i'll catch you all later thanks a lot for watching